Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a skincare organization video. I'm going to go through my entire skincare collection, organize everything, and probably declutter a few things because even though I just did a declutter like a month ago, I still have too much stuff. So I'm going to try my best to declutter a bit, but we're going to focus on organization today. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. We have a guest appearance. This is Dirk, aka Turkey. What are you sniffing? You sniffing those boxes? Turkey! Oh, hey, Dirk. Dirk, say hello. <laughs> oh, he doesn't, he doesn't like, oh, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> what's in there? So this area is a complete mess. We're just going to ignore that. If you guys didn't know, my boyfriend and I recently moved in with our friends Cameron and Alicia. Oh, my Coke. <laughs> Let me drop that. Uh, we recently moved in with our friends, so we just moved um, a couple weeks ago, and so everything is still all over the place. But today, we're just going to ignore that, and our focus is going to be on this Alex 9 drawer unit from Ikea. So let me show you guys what we have going on. So this first drawer here has cleansers and exfoliators in it. Then we have makeup removers and toners and like essence type stuff in here. Next, we've got moisturizers and eye creams. Then we have serums, which <laughs> the organization here is not there. Like, there is no organization, honestly. So that drawer needs to be worked on. We have more serums here. I definitely think I can declutter a few things and get this down to two, or get these two drawers down to one. Then we have, like, sheet masks and, like little patches and whatnot which this drawer looks incredible compared to how it used to if you guys know you know <laughs> then we have masks like face masks and whatnot here and then this drawer has like overflow like excess things or like large products that don't fit in the other drawers and then this bottom drawer honestly this just has like random stuff like razor things and random like suction cups that I don't even use so this drawer is kind of miscellaneous and probably could move somewhere else so that is my skincare unit. We are going to start with this drawer here so once again this is cleansers and exfoliators. Alright, so here is that first drawer. I just want to go ahead and apologize for my band-aids. I and very clumsy and I happen to have a few accidents <laughs> with my fingers so um, try to ignore the band-aids if you can but anyway this first drawer like I said is cleansers and exfoliators so um, it, it's messy so let me go ahead and take everything out and then we'll organize as we put back in and see if there's anything that I can declutter. Okay, so a few that I am for sure keeping are the Kopari Tropical Glow Cleanser. That one is a must. I'm also definitely going to be keeping this Ofra Micro Glow Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. I haven't tried this yet, but I really want to. So that one is going to stay. I also have this Kopari California Glow Enzyme Scrub, which I will be keeping. The Versed Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator is going to stay, as well as this Morphe 2 Bubbly Fresh Gel to Film Cleanser. I have two mini cleansers, a mini Bad Habit and a mini Tatcha. I think I'm going to keep the Tatcha one and declutter the Bad Habit one just because I don't need like multiple mini cleansers. I can just use one if I ever need it. Next we have the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. This stuff is super good. I have one in my shower. This is a backup which I will be keeping. This is the Truth Juice from Ulla Henriksen. I am going to be keeping this. It smells so good and I love Ulla Henriksen products so that one can stay there. And then I'm going to go ahead and declutter both of these. I have the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I really like this cleanser. I've used up a few of them, but I just have 
other ones that I want to try out so I'm gonna pass this one along and then I also have the La Roche Posay medicated gel cleanser I just have too many cleansers at the moment so in the future I would love to try this product but for now I'm going to pass it along I have the purity one-step facial cleanser and I am going to keep this I've had this for a while and I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet but I do want to keep this and try it out I have heard such good things about this product I can't believe I'm doing this, but I think I'm going to declutter the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. This is just so large, and I've had this for so long, and I have not gotten around to using it up, obviously, so um, I think it's better for me to just pass this along to someone else, and hopefully they can get better use out of it than I will because I already have like too many so this is gonna be a declutter. I have the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil Free Foaming Cleanser. I'm really excited to try this out so I am going to be keeping this. And then I have the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser which again I am going to keep. So um, here are all of my cleansers and exfoliators. They definitely fit quite a bit better. I decluttered four in total, three full sizes and one mini, um, but I think this is looking pretty good and hopefully I can work through a few of these in the near future. Um, I have a few cleansers that I'm using right now, but these will be the next ones that I go to. So there is the first drawer all done. This next drawer has toners and liquid exfoliators and makeup removing products and things like that so once again i'm going to take everything out and then organize as i put back in okay so we are going to start with cleansing balms because i have way too many so this first one is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is the OG original one. This is fantastic. I love this product. I will definitely be keeping it. I also have the Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which I will be keeping. I have the Clearly Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This one is for sensitive skin. I believe it's unfragranced. And then I also have this one, which is the Sweet Apple Clean. This one is still in the box, but I will be keeping it. So I have one of each, um, but I actually have more pharmacy cleansing balms. So <laughs> let me show you those. I've got another Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, brand new in the packaging. And I have another Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, brand new in the packaging. So since I have four other ones here, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and declutter these. I love this stuff and I would eventually use it, but I have a few other cleansing balms as well. And I'm sure by the time I use these up, I will have acquired other cleansing balms and cleansing oils and things like that. So... We'll declutter those two. I actually also have a mini version of the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which I am tempted to keep. I think since I have this Bad Habit Cleansing Balm, which is a mini, I will keep the Bad Habit one so I can try that out and I will declutter the mini one that is still in the box from pharmacy. And then the last cleansing balm that I have is from Juno & Co. This is the Juno Skin Clean 10 Cleansing Balm. I haven't used this one yet. I'm excited to try it out, so I will be keeping this. So let me go ahead and organize these. Next, I have a few cleansing oils. I have one from Tula and one from Fresh. I'm going to be keeping both of these. I have a makeup remover from Chanel, which I'm going to keep. And then I also have a little mini makeup remover from Charlotte Tilbury, which I will be keeping as well. I just took that Chanel one out of the box. I have a Kopari Coconut Rose Toner, which I will be keeping. I also have this Saturday Skin 10% Glycolic Acid Pore Control Complex, which is like a uh, chemical exfoliating toner. 
um, that I'm going to keep. I have an Ulla Henriksen Dark Spot Toner, which is like my favorite toner ever. I love that stuff. I'm going to keep that. And then I have two more. I have the Glycolic Exfoliating Toner from Good Molecules. Since I have this one, which is a glycolic toner, I think I'll just keep the Saturday Skin one and I will declutter this one. And then I have the First Aid Beauty Oil Minimizing Toner with Salicylic Acid. And I do want to try that, so I will keep that product. Okay, so here's the after of this drawer. I decluttered three makeup bombs, makeup remover bombs, and one toner. And then I took the box, or took this out of the box to make a little bit more space. So this drawer is completely done. Next, we have moisturizers and eye creams, which is a very intimidating drawer for me. So for this drawer, we have moisturizers and eye creams. So I have a few La Mer products that I am definitely going to be keeping. So I will go ahead and add these. I have the moisturizing soft cream as well as the moisturizing cool gel cream. I prefer the cool gel cream. And then I have a couple of mini eye products. I have a little mini eye balm and eye concentrate. So I'm going to put those back there. I have this Fenty Eye Balm, which I probably won't get to anytime soon because I have a few other ones that I want to use first. So I will go ahead and declutter this. I have my Ulla Henriksen Eye Cream, which I would like to keep. This is a little mini Tatcha moisturizer that I will keep. I have the Starry Eye Balm from Kopari, which I guess I'll set there, as well as this Saturday Skin Eye Cream which hopefully I can fit back here. I'm gonna keep my Glow Recipe moisturizer along with my Tatcha moisturizers. I have the Dewy Skin Cream and the Indigo Cream. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is going to stay. I have the Coconut Water Moisture Cream from Kopari. This is another Kopari moisturizer. This is the Peptide Glow Hydrating Moisturizer. I actually have two ultra repair creams from First Aid Beauty and I'm pretty sure they're both new. So I will keep one and declutter the other. This one is from Neutrogena. I've had this for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I have these two from La Roche-Posay and Morphe 2. Um, I think I can declutter the Morphe 2 one. And then this is a daily moisturizer for oily skin, anti-shine. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and pass both of these along. Next, we have the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer, which I will keep. I have the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Moisture Glow Cream, which I am also going to keep. I have this Pharmacy Daily Greens Moisturizer, which I love. I have gone through multiples of these, but I have a new one here, and I have a bunch of other moisturizers that I want to use first, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along, and uh, I will definitely use this again in the future. Like, it's so good. And finally, we have the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant, and I want to keep this. I do. Should I keep this? I think I'm going to keep this, so I'm just going to slide the pharmacy one back and then put the drunk elephant one here. So that is everything from this drawer. We still have a lot. I know, I know. I'm going to try really hard this year to get through some of my skincare products. I'm doing a skincare project pan, if you guys didn't know. I will have that video linked down below. Um, but here's what we've got so far. I decluttered two, three, four, five moisturizers and one eye cream, which I think is pretty good. So this drawer is now complete. Next we have serums. So I have these serums here. And then I have even more serums down here. I'm going to combine these two drawers. I'll probably move them up to here. So I'll take everything out of both of these and then we will put it all back into this drawer here.
Okay, so this drawer is going to be my serum drawer. I moved this organizer up from the one below it, and let's get to organizing. So first things first, we have this from First Aid Beauty. These are the white clay acne treatment pads. I'm going to go ahead and declutter these just because I don't really use things like this. I'll either use like an acne serum or toner on a cotton pad. So I've got this Bosha Vitamin B12 Hydration Booster Serum that I would like to keep. I'm going to keep this Versed uh, Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen. I'm also going to keep the Pharmacy Green Defense Sunscreen. I have this Revolution Multi-Acid Peeling Solution. I actually have the Ordinaries version of this in my bathroom, so I'm going to declutter this since I have the other one. I have a few Fourth Ray products. I have the Acai Face Milk and the Rose Face Milk. I'm going to keep both of those. I have a few Paula's Choice products here. I'm going to declutter this one and keep the uh, Rinse Off Treatment. This is a chemical exfoliating rinse off treatment. This is a uh, all skin type strengthens and nourishes for visibly smooth healthy glowing skin that sounds great but i probably just don't need to use that so um i'll keep the acne or not the acne the chemical exfoliating solution and declutter this one i will keep my curology in here i have a few pharmacy products i've got the honeymoon glow aha resurfacing night serum and the honey grail ultra hydrating face oil i think i might keep both of these for now we'll see how everything fits once i've gone through it all this is a bliss vitamin c pro collagen serum i'm going to declutter this i have the ofra renewal treatment oil i have a lot of oils um but i think i want to keep that one specifically <laughs> I have these two oils as well. I have the e.l.f. All the Feels Facial Oil and the Laura Mercier Nourishing Rose Oil. I think I'll keep the Laura Mercier one and declutter the e.l.f. one. I have a few like gua sha style tools, which I will keep. I have the Ordinary Lactic Acid Serum, which I'm going to keep, as well as the Pixie Glow Tonic Serum. These good molecule serums are great, but they are really old. I've had them for a few years now, so it's time to let these go. I have the overnight exfoliating treatment and the niacinamide serum. I have a few acne serums, one from La Roche-Posay and one from Bliss. So I will keep these, but I guess I'll put them over here like that. I have the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. That sounds fantastic. I also have this from Paula's Choice, which I'm going to declutter. I have a few Drunk Elephant products. I have Deep Bronzy as well as the Virgin Marula Oil. I definitely want to keep the Virgin Marula Oil. Um, this, however, I don't know. I think I'll keep Deep Bronzy for now and try to use it this like summer, spring, summer season. I have the Proteiny Power Peptide Resurface Serum from Drunk Elephant that I would love to try. Um, and then I have the Discoloration Correcting Serum from Good Molecule. Since I have this one, um, which is a dark spot corrector serum, I will go ahead and declutter this one. And then finally, I have two Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Juice Serums, which I, whoops, will be keeping. I need to find a dropper for them though, because accidentally um got rid of the one that had the dropper without um switching out the cap because i forgot so here is my new serum drawer i know it still looks kind of crazy i'll probably go through this again but i got rid of one two three four five six seven serums and i got rid of those acne pads from this drawer so I'm pretty happy with this I have two sunscreens a few acne things and then I still probably have too many serums but for now this this makes me happy so there is that drawer now we have an empty drawer which is interesting because our next drawer is my sheet mask drawer and I don't need this large of a drawer for all of these products so I think I will move them up to this drawer and go through these I did go through these like after we moved in here got rid of a few things so I'm not sure if I'll get rid of anything but 
I definitely can move them from this drawer to this one. All right, guys, so we are moving on to my mask drawer. I just wanna say it's been several days. It's probably been like a week since I started filming this video. <laughs> But um, things got busy, things got crazy. I had a ton of videos pre-filmed, so this wasn't like top of my priority list, but we're back. So let's go through the masks. If you guys, I think the last where I left off was moving my uh, sheet masks up a drawer. So now we have this drawer, which this was my previous mask drawer. I just slid this whole thing up. Um, so let's just take a look and see if there's anything in here that I want to get rid of. So we have the Tatcha Rice Polish, which I will keep. Go Recipe Avocado Melt, absolutely will be keeping. I have these Good Molecules Hydrogel Eye Patches. Um, I think these are the only eye patches I have, so I think I will keep the uh, Good Molecules ones. And then I have a little La Mer mask there, which I will keep. We've got some Drunk Elephant, Ula Henriksen. Um, sorry, my phone is playing Fortnite. <laughs> sorry if you could hear that. Uh, this is the Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Mask from Pharmacy. I also have the Youth to the People Mask and a Versed Mask. So I guess we'll keep those. I have two from Juno & Co. Uh, we have the Kill No More Pour Deep Cleansing Mask. And then I have the Face Calm Cannabis Sativa Soothing Mask. I feel like I should, ooh, I wanna keep both of them. I was gonna say, I feel like I should only keep one. But honestly, we're gonna keep both. I think I'll declutter this pharmacy mask just because I've had it for a while and I have not used it yet. So um, that one can go. My Summer Fridays masks will be staying. I have Peter Thomas Roth Fresh. I have a few e.l.f. ones. We have the Jelly Pop face mask as well as the Holy Hydration face mask. Both of these are really good. I also have a few First Aid Beauty ones. We have this one which is the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. And I also have this one which is the Calamine Pore Purging Mask. This one is really good. Oh, and I have another e.l.f. one. I've been really enjoying e.l.f.'s skincare recently. This is the Dope Dreams Sleeping Mask. Um, I guess I'll keep, oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is rough. This Pixie Hydrating Milky Peel, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter just because I haven't used it and I'm probably not gonna use it anytime soon. I have a Restart Detox Face Mask from Morphe. This looks really good. Um, I have this little mini Origins Clear Improvement Mask. I feel like I could go through that quickly. I've got Laura Mercier. I've got Charlotte Tilbury, Frank Body, and Wishful. This Wishful one is really nice. So let's see. I'm gonna keep the First Aid Beauty ones for sure. I'm gonna keep the Wishful, the Morphe. This is definitely not uh, a drawer where I'm getting rid of a ton of face masks, but that's okay. I'm honestly really liking the sound of all of these, so I'm just gonna keep all of my e.l.f. masks back here. Not much changed here. I literally only got rid of two masks, but that's okay. I'm pretty happy with everything else. We are left with one more skincare drawer. This has like my extra skincare stuff, which I guess I can move up a drawer. I have some micellar waters, which I will definitely be keeping because I can never have enough micellar water. I have some more eye patches. These ones are from Pixie. I'll go ahead and declutter those. I have a few other masks here from Pixie. We've got a vitamin C and a milky remedy mask. I think I'll keep the milky one and I will declutter the vitamin C one. I have a mask here which I'm gonna keep and then a glow recipe moisturizer which I will keep. And then the last two products in this drawer are the glow tonic which these are really cool and they say my name. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep them for that main reason. So I'll set those there. And that's gonna be all of my skincare. I have this bottom drawer here which just has like some random miscellaneous things. Sorry, it's out of focus, one sec. 
I have this bottom drawer here, which just has a bunch of razor stuff in it. I have these from Sephora, which I am not going to use, so those can go. Um, let me just kind of speed through the rest of this and see what I'm going to keep in here and then what I'm going to get rid of. So there's still a lot of random stuff in here, but this is going to have to do for now. I took out a few things that I'm not going to be using, so I will declutter these. But that is going to be it for this drawer unit. So we do have an empty drawer. I'm going to have to figure out what to put here. I'm sure I have things that can go here. I'm just not sure exactly what quite yet. So I'm pretty impressed with myself. I basically cleared out an entire drawer and I'm really happy with how things are looking. So let me give you guys one last final overview. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you the last overview, the final overview. In this top drawer, we have my cleansers, which looks nice and calm. Obviously, there's still a lot of products in here, but it looks so much better compared to how it used to. I am very, very happy with this drawer. Next, we have makeup removers, cleansing balms, toners. Again, there feels like there's not much in here. I know there's still a bunch of cleansing balms and other products, but again, compared to how it used to be, this is pretty good i feel like i'm finally starting to actually condense down my skincare collection here we have moisturizers which again lots of stuff in here i need to probably try to use some of these as like body moisturizers <laughs> because there's a lot this one is more full than some of the other ones but it's looking so much better then we have my serum drawer which i feel like I feel like I could probably get rid of a few more of these if I really sat down and thought about it. But for now, I was able to condense down all of my serums into one drawer instead of two, which makes me so happy. So I feel like we're off to a pretty good start. Next, we have my sheet masks and other similar products, which we moved from a large drawer down to a small drawer, which makes me very happy once again. My face mask drawer didn't change much but I don't feel like too overwhelmed by this I like my variety of face masks and I like all of the ones that I have here if I was to get rid of any more it would just be for the sake of getting rid of them which I don't want to do so there we have my face mask drawer and then this is my final skincare drawer this just has some extra toners and my cellar waters and like two random face masks so again very very happy with this my eighth drawer here is empty and then that bottom drawer down there as you guys saw just has some random miscellaneous things so that is it for my skincare collection organization video as you guys can see we still have a lot of organizing and decluttering to do i think next i will work on hair care and body care because these drawers are still overflowing and very full and then I did some damage at Bath and Body Works recently so I have to figure out how to fit all of this into this unit along with what's already in there so that video will be coming soon but that's gonna be it for today I hope you all enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up I love you all so so much I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one Bye!